Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got a cool Rough Rider knife to show you today. This is the one of the Aptos. This is model RR2285. You can see right there. Um, yeah, Rough Rider came out a new series called the Apta. They have several different models. They have one I have, which is the micarta version they have an aluminum one um copper brass different blade shapes um but yeah this is the micarta version like i said model 2285 so it comes in this box rough rider box and inside the knife actually comes in a nice little zipper pouch which is pretty nice plus inside a little pocket up here also comes with a torx wrench and a couple a couple extra little screws so it looks like a six and an eight and a and a wrench but yeah something a little extra kind of nice I have tons and tons of pouches, but yeah, let's check the knife out. So, here it is, folded up. They call it blue micarta. It's more, to me, it looks more black and gray, but the micarta is really, really quite nice. It's got good texture to it. It's not, it's not highly polished, you know, smooth. Definitely gives you a little bit of grip. Um, stainless steel frame. The bolsters are bead blasted. And yeah, overall fit and finish, and you know, like this, it's pretty good. Um, really, no complaints on how the covers fit. They fit very nice. Um, Right on the bolster right here. I'll show you in the other camera when we move over. But it looks like there's some kind of like epoxy or resin stuck to it. Kind of, kind of not good looking. I tried to get it off with some acetone, you know, fingernail polish remover. It did not want to do it. But yeah, let's check the blade out. I love the blade. Uh, first, it's got a pretty strong pull. I'd say this is like a seven, seven and a half. Really strong pull, but clicks right into half stop. That's pretty, that's a pretty heavy half stop. Then open it up, and there you have the blade. I love, love it. They call it a sheep's foot blade um sheep's foot one cliff there's just a slight slight belly to it it's not perfectly straight so i guess it's leaning more towards the sheep's foot blade but yeah check it out now i see i in the uh, thing it looks blue but really to me it's it's more blackish and grayish yeah like I said man good retention on it back springs pretty pretty heavy and again there's the half stop just awesome action on this thing so Got this one, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Rough Rider, Apta. Again, it says Modern Slip Joint. RR2285, it was $26.99. And I don't think it's a bad deal. What we got here is a 2.75 inch blade, sheep's foot, 
Um, the blade thickness on this is 0 0.10. Sand finish and the steel on this is actually VG10. So that's pretty cool. You got, got a better steel and a Rough Rider knife. They are making quite a few with VG10 and they're making carbon blades now. So Rough Rider's moving up in the world as far as blade steel. Um, handle, it's about 3.75 inches long. Like I said, they call it blue micarta. Um, has a lanyard hole right here. Very nice little knife. I really like this. Um, for 26 bucks. It's got Torx screw um, construction. So if you want to take this thing apart, you can take it apart. In fact, um, show you right now, there's no blade play left or right. No lock rock. There's no lock, but it's solid. You can break it, you know, this way, but no play. Um, I did. I've had this for a little while. Um, yesterday, I playing with it. I had to tighten the screw, the pivot up. It, they, the pivot loosened up, and I had some side to side play. But yeah, I just tweaked it a little bit. Now it's rock solid again. Um, yeah, three and three quarter inch handle. I get all four fingers, and I get full grip. Um, like I said, you can break it, but then again, it's got a pretty, pretty heavy half lock, half stop right here. So that's good. But yeah, nice walk and talk on this thing. Clicks, 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 clicks. But yeah, bring it over to the side camera, get a closer look. So yeah, check that blade out. I really like the blade shape. I like Warren Cliff style blades. To me, this is more leaning more towards a Warren Cliff blade. Got a nice wedge on top. Blade thickness is an overly thick, 0 0.10 inches. Blade height is about oh three quarters of an inch tall. Flat grind. Um, very nice satin finish on this, and you got stainless steel bolsters and frame here, and nothing's milled out. It's got a little little weight to it. Feels good in hand. Um, I don't even know how much it weighs. We'll have to weigh it. <clears throat> These my cutter handles, the covers are really. Really quite nice. Like I said, they're not highly polished and real smooth. There's some texture to it. It just feels feels pretty good in hand. Um, on a blade, you can see the model number right there. It says China right there. Rough Riders, we don't know. They're all made in China. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> show you what I was <clears throat> excuse me show you what I was talking about I don't know if you can pick it up right here there's something on there that looks like some epoxy or glue or something from the handle got up on here I don't, yeah like I said I don't, might be able to see it I tried getting it off with some acetone it didn't come off, but that's okay. That's, that is really about the only complaint I can fit and finish. This thing is very nicely constructed. It's a little dirty on the inside. Um, needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But other than that, that's a pretty cool knife. So yeah, let's check the weight out. 
do it over here maybe you can see it come on and I am on pounds and ounces I get three ounces even so that's not bad um, try to get the grams 86 grams so right around three ounces but yeah um, like I said though they they have different models I almost got the aluminum handle one that was black and red um, that's only like $16.99 I may still pick that up someday but um the only complaint I've heard about that knife is the black black on the bolsters started to chip off peel you know come off but hey if you're looking for a nice little slip joint modernish slip joint a good walk and talk nice blade nice sharp blade um, Go piece of paper we can try it thing is super super sharp look at that definitely can't complain about the sharpness out of the box um, you know better better steel VG10 steel although it does not say VG10 on, on the blade anywhere that's kind of weird usually you know company goes up in steel they like to show it off and have it printed on the blade but overall I I just like the looks of this the sheep's foot blade the lines of it the ergos of it um, it's got a pretty strong back spring and it's still a slip joint you have to be careful but yeah, I do like the style of blade for draw cuts and stuff like that. And yeah, twenty six ninety nine. I don't think you can complain about about what you get for twenty six ninety nine. As far as Rough Riders go, um, I have several. You know, traditional type Rough Riders. I have a big lock back. Um, I think this is the nicest rough, rough rider I have right now. So, yeah, I guess I'll do it for this video. Just a real quick first impressions. This is by no means a review. I've had it in my pocket for, you know, maybe a day. Used it a couple times. So, um, just my first impressions. does have a nice sharpening choil right here. This thing be super easy to sharpen, so that's great. Pretty straight, straight edge, so there's just a little curve to it. So, definitely freehand. This will be really easy to sharpen with that choil. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. The after um, Rough Rider. RR2285, check them out. I'm digging it. Like I said, $26.99. I don't think it's a bad deal on this modern slip joint. But I guess that'll do it. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until the next video, bye.